right, so Irish Eyes has just told me to come back up here and have a look at this one. I'm not sure the torch is really helping. Maybe pull the torch down slightly. Um, it's very hard to, to see, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the writing. It looks like Butler. I can't make out the first name. Very hard to read, but it's look at it. The font. The designs. Memory of a son, James Butler, departed this life. 1832, aged 19, and also his daughter. Ah, she was only one when she passed in 1829. So, so sad for the Butlers. And his daughter's name was Maria, his son James. But I just can't figure. It could be Patrick, but just beautiful. And they're just in under this beautiful little area. And there's another one. Look at the designs on this. We have shamrocks on this one. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. All the shamrocks. Erected by Sarah Brady. Memory of her beloved husband, Brian. Had departed his life February 1866, aged 84. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Another beautiful one here. It's a cross and this one has ivy. Absolutely gorgeous. Erected by Bridget Kinlan of Dublin in memory of her beloved husband Peter. 1879, aged 47. Also in loving remembrance of Bridget. 1907, aged 67. And also her son, 1911, aged 37. That is a gorgeous headstone as well. And just beside it, I think it's 1815, erected in memory of Margaret Kinlan. So possibly a relation between these two. But look at this, the angels, the sacred heart, another angel, August the 2nd, 1815, age 78. Wow. Any idea guys? What this is for? It's like a headstone, there's no writing around on it, but you can clearly see that there's the hole right through it there. And we have just so much deer droppings everywhere. Excuse me for a minute, 1790, oh, 96, Owen, age 72, 1796 here, 1796, age just 18. So we're slowly making our way down there. Guys, just look at that. How gorgeous is that? Where in the world would you find scenery like that? Absolutely beautiful. The robin has actually flown around here, so we've stopped. I can see 1722 here. Body of John Doyle. March 1722, age 56. And 1784 here, age 50, Mary Gaffney. And then look at this. Mm. 
and here lies the body of and then it's just all underground looks like Daniel and the dais <clears throat> was gone Seventeen sixty nine, age fifty two. Something burn, maybe Helen burn. Sorry, John burn. Seventeen sixty nine, age fifty two. There's a seventeen eighty there as well. So we're missing some of it from here. But that there is the oratory. Look at this cross. This is approximately 12, 13 feet high, I'd imagine. And we just get um, sidetracked here the whole time, wandering around. And once again, we are just following the robin. He seems to be leading the way You can hear all the crows. <laughs> they seem to be fighting. We're just kind of off the beaten track here, off the little paths that are around the place. The robin has flown over this way, so we're kind of following his lead at the moment. And there he is again. Just there. And this is from Margaret Healy. Sorry, this is erected by Margaret Healy in loving memory of her husband, Dennis. And he died May 1910, age 73. Look at that. Oh, wow. Like, you just wouldn't see that. As I said, the robin landed on this. We've all the, the shamrocks. Guy will be done as wrote around it. More shamrock. And the Lamb of God. And it's just completely hidden in here. One beside it. Patrick Healy, 1789. He was 90. Another great age for Patrick. Wow. So the robin is proving uh, that he knows this place so well. He's leading us to the best ones. I mean, these are off the, the path. Tombstone here. What have we got here? 1773, we're off on this one. Body of Thomas Grant, who departed this life September the 27th, 1773, age 67. And just look at the font on that. That is gorgeous. And look at the, the designs. Wow. So we have the crucifixion here. I wonder, is this a Dennis Cullen? Dennis Cullen, 
Wow, we found one. So we have the hammer, the pliers, the soldiers. We have a sun. Have we anything over here that we can see? The crucifixion, the soldier and the spear who pierced our Lord. Amazing. Wow. And another beautiful one here again. Look at that. And we have designs there as well. With the hammer, that to me looks like a coffin. The ladder, the spear, the pliers. That could well, is, would that be dice maybe? We have lots here. Mary anyway, the body of Mary. Unfortunately no date. It was quite hard to see, but it's all there. I think that's a chalice as well there maybe. Wow. And just if I step across, I have to meander my way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, look at the size of this. Now, we have, wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. And even with the the orange lichen makes it actually a beautiful piece of art. Absolutely stunning. Erected by W. Grant in memory of his father. Looks like Andrew Grant, 1845, age 59, and his mother Bridget, it looks like. 1863, age 71. Just look at the colours on that. Absolutely fantastic, guys. And we've more off in the distance there, more mountains. I'm going to make my way over here. We still haven't made our way down to St. Kevin's Church. We keep getting distracted. The robin keeps kind of showing us where to go. Nothing on this one. There would have been designs on this one, all right. They're completely worn away. 1818. Lovely big, um, <clears throat> excuse me, tabletop tomb here. No writing on it. Another beautiful cross. It's probably at least maybe 10 foot tall. Look at the designs on it. loving memory of Dr. James Garland, erected by the grateful people for whose benefit he laboured during 18 years. Born 16th February 1857, died 21st February 1901. And we have some Irish down at the bottom. Just look at that. Here's another gorgeous one. Look at the design on it there. This looks like lilies maybe, maybe shamrock. Erected by Michael Kennedy, in memory of his beloved father, John Kennedy, 1879, age 78 years. Absolutely gorgeous. This is 1798. Here lie at the body of Thomas Kavanagh, who departed this life. 1798, aged just 18. Wow. And besides Thomas Kavanagh, this beautiful one erected by John Cooper in memory of his wife, Rosanna Cooper. 1822, aged 51. And look at here. 
We have two gorgeous angels. Wow. And another one of the crucifixion. Look at this soldier wears a long coat and a crown. With the man with the spear, the sun, with an angel, actually another angel there. Here lieth the body of Arthur Doyle. 1779, age 56, and his wife, Winifred, 1771, that looks like. No age there, it's kind of gone into the ground. Look at that. Any maker's name on us, there's not. We're just looking at the, the scenery there. I just can't get over it. It's, what time is it now? Just to give you an idea. Uh, we came up a little bit later than what we had hoped. It's 20 past four. And uh, blessed for a beautiful day. And just look at that. Right, so we've made our way down finally to St. Kevin's Church. Have a look. We have some sort of headstones. We've a cross there at the back. I'll just see if I can fit the game away. Right guys, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you soon.